Now that you got an intro of what a parabola can look like, how it's created, the definition of, we'll delve deeper into it, okay? I'm gonna rip it apart, I'm gonna tell you all the different parts, and we're gonna discuss what we can do with it. This is the first conic section of the three or four that we'll be discussing in this unit, and this is chapter 8.1, Conics Part 1, Parabolas. Um, we have already discussed that we're We've already established that we already know what these parabolas are. And that's what you're used to, right? Where it's y equals x squared something, 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 okay? And we all understand that this is an x squared. Um, so we know that this is going to be a smiley face or a frowning face, right? But what's different about this one? x equals, right? And it's a y is being squared. So easy peasy, everyone. Just go, oh, it's y squared. So it's going to be different. How? It's going to go either this way and this way or this way and this way. So it's kind of like a parabola that's been tipped over, like you knocked it down. Okay? All right. So I'm going to now dissect all the parts of a parabola. This parabola you know, and this parabola is another one that you know that's going to be y squared, right? Okay. But they all have similar parts. You know what they have? They have a belly button. Okay? And they also have something in the back. Okay? All right. So here is your classic vertex. That's your HK. This guy is your HK, your vertex, okay? This is where it all begins. But I want you to imagine this guy's your tummy, right? Where is your belly button? It's inside somewhere, right? So the distance from the vertex to P, we're gonna just call something P, right? A P distance away, that's called a belly button or the focus, okay? That's called a focus, all right? The focus. And you know what's there behind the vertex? If you back it up the same amount as P down, that line, this line here, is called a directrix. Directrix, okay? Uh, and the directrix is a line, so it's going to be, in our case, with the parabola going this way, it's going to be a y equals something line, okay? y equals, oh, sorry, I'm not going to put an x there. I'm going to say y equals some value of k, okay, some line, okay? And you're right, focus is actually a point, okay, is a point, okay? And we're going to discuss all that. Um, let's see what else. Again, what is the definition of a uh, definition of a parabola? Let's actually write that at the bottom here. Definitions are going to be very important and playing a big important role in this unit. So we're going to step, step up. We're going to actually spell it out. Okay. Definition of a parabola is this. It's the set, as we shown on the previous video that I showed you, right? It's a set of all the points in a plane. Okay. Equidistant from a particular line. Okay, or and a particular point in the plane. So you remember, this is equal, right? But you remember, this and this is equal, this and this is equal. And when you connect all those points, you create this beautiful parabola. Again, I'm going to go the other way too. If I take the focus, a focus, and the distance from the vertex, the equal. Of course, this parabola is not drawn to scale, as you can tell. That's why the videos I showed you earlier were better. Remember the distance from here to the from the focus to the directors, whenever they're con whenever they're equidistant, that's what the locus of points that are created from the focus and the directors is going to be creating a parabola. I showed you the video already. So sorry about this image. The image doesn't do a very good job because I didn't actually pro uh, I didn't actually do a very good job of pointing out where the focus and the director is, okay? Just to put it on this diagram, though, okay? All right, so let's finish talking about the focus and directrix here. The so one, we have a focus, and we've already labeled that, okay? And we also have the fixed line, which is called the directrix, okay? The fixed line, which is a directrix, okay? Now, because this is a, watch this, this is a y, uh, sorry, this is a x squared parabola, right? This I call this guy the x squared parabola, okay? So you know it's going to smile or frown, right? I love that kind of ugly, so I'm going to rewrite it. So you know it's going to be a smiley face or a frowny face. Now, the focus is always going to be inside the vertex, okay? And you know how the vertex is a vertex, oh, sorry, vertex is always 
H, K? Well, if the vertex is H, K, the focus is always what is adjusting the focus or the directrix? Which of the vertex is being affected is what I want you to think about. Okay? I never try to memorize any of this. I just try to think about, okay, the focus, well, it's inside a belly button. It's on the same X as the X, uh, belly button. So you know the H is going to remain the same. What's going to move? The K. K is going to go up or down, depending on whether it's frowning or smiling, right? So you got to remember that's the focus. But don't memorize that formula. It'll be more common sense. How about the directrix? As you can see, the directrix also is behind the vertex of the K though, right? So it's going to be that line. Y equals, right? Y equals um, K, but you're going to go behind or in front of it. So it's going to be K plus or negative P. You'll know what I'm talking about when we start working on these, okay? I'm going to put a little line here to distinguish it from the other one, okay? Um, you're going to know, okay? Uh, another thing that I want to mention to you, oh, what if the vertex is actually at the origin, right? At the origin. Well, then it's more obvious, right? If it's origin, then you know it's going to be, um, sorry. Well, if it's vertex is an origin, that's going to be zero and then just P. If origin. Okay, the P amount, right? Yeah. And also same with the directrix. If origin, Y is equal to plus or negative P if origin. You know, I'm going to put plus or negative P here too. Because it really depends on whether it's inside, uh, going up or going down, right? Here's what I mean. Your parabola could look like this or your parabola could look like this. Okay? Now, another thing that I should mention, the third thing is this. This is when P is negative. This is when P is positive. Okay? Just keep that in mind. And look, the belly button is always inside the tummy. The belly button is always inside the tummy. And you have your line behind the fixed line and fixed point. Okay? Well, let's transfer that same knowledge onto our sideway parabola, which I call, this guy, I like to call it the Y square parabola. Right? Because it's the Y square. It's when the Y has been squared. All right? Okay, so again, what is this guy called? This guy is your vertex, right? Your H, K, your Hong Kong, okay? And what about this guy here? What's that guy called? That's the focus. Same thing, right? And what's behind it? It's your directrix, your fixed line, your fixed directrix, okay? Your fixed directrix. You guys, I know you're getting annoyed because my marker is so thick, so I'll make it thinner, okay? All right, so let's discuss, okay? Same kind of thing, guys. Number one, focus. Well, where is the focus? Well, how is it affected? Is the X guy affected or the Y coordinate affected, right? Which one's affected? The H, obviously. So you're going to go H plus or minus P, oh, P amount, right? Because this is a P distance. This is also the P distance, okay? Uh, and then the K does not change, okay? How about the directrix? Oh, I know what you're wondering. You're like, how about the origin? How about the origin, right? Well, if it's the origin, easy peasy, H plus or negative P, but it's the origin. Okay. How about the directrix? Directrix. Directrix is easy peasy as well. You just change the, you go back, right? And look at the line. How do you draw, what's this equation of this line here? It's an X equals, right? So you know it's going to be X, oh, sorry. X equals plus or negative, oh, sorry x equals h plus or negative p or x equals plus or negative p if origin again okay yeah and all this will make so much sense when you actually start thinking about it and doing it okay again third thing okay you oh this doesn't go that way the y square parabolas either go this way or this way right this way this way and you see how this one's going towards the left so obviously this one is when P is negative, and this is when P is greater than zero. And let's do the belly button and the belly button, vertex, and you have your directrix right behind it. Always behind your, behind the vertex is your directrix. Okay? All right. Well, that was the anatomy of a parabola. So let's actually move on to part two in the next video. Again, what is the definition of a parabola? You got to keep thinking about that, okay? It's the locus of points equidistant from a fixed point and a fixed
waistline. All right, see you next video.